can't believe it's saying it. Julian saved the day. Oh, that's what I call heartburn. He guesses he's not a coward after all. the least I could do if I, I feel, I, what the hell am I doing? I'm Julian Crane, for Christ's sake. <laughs> that mutt doesn't stop yapping. Don't, don't make Julian Ben. the instincts of a stupid canine. Well, one thing Jimmy knows is that Toto's never wrong, and that time is running out, but Jimmy needs to find the demon soul and can sleep the spell. Like I'm gonna let Timmy save Charity and destroy me. Shake a leg, middle man. Please, please don't hurt Timmy. Hasn't he been through enough? No. Enough is when he's dead. And if I were you, I'd start seeing myself again, you don't. Another one of my flashes. What of the men you used to love? I guess it's only natural after all the lies Nick told you about knowing you before your amnesia. But isn't it possible that he did know? Man, I, if it were anyone else, maybe I'd believe him, but Nick has never told the truth about anything his entire life. He's the last person that can help you figure out who you really are. I knew I saw her in Paris. And her name's not Diana. She and Brian are gonna deeply regret crossing me. Ivy, I need your word. You cannot tell anyone that Ethan and Teresa are up at the cabin. I don't give a damn about saving Teresa. But Ethan... Ethan is fine. Once Teresa dies in childbirth, and everyone is going to forget all about her, escape from the hospital, and then Ethan can get on with his life with Gwen the way he always was going to before La Cucaracha just shimmied into the picture. Did Ethan come back on the line yet? No, I'm still waiting. Mama, calm down, okay? Look, at least we got in touch with Ethan and Teresa. Well, look, we're gonna get them back on the phone again. We're gonna find out where they are, and then we're gonna go get them, okay? Trust me, Teresa's gonna have her baby. She's gonna have it right here in this hospital. Not if she goes into labor too soon. Oh, shh. Anything you all want to share? 
Look, not that this is any of your business, okay? But I'm just trying to comfort my mother. I really don't appreciate you two hovering over us like we're a couple of criminals. Hey, no need to get your back up if you haven't done anything wrong. I'm just trying to do my job. Which, in case it slipped your mind, is escorting your sister back to prison. What? And you can't wait until she's through with her lab tests? If that's where she is at all. My partner went up to see for himself. She's not there. I've got a lot of explaining. All right, now why don't you just listen to me, okay? Chief Bennett and I have got this situation under control. I don't need any threats from you. You got it? Just put you on notice. Yeah. Officer. Look, his partner's gonna find out that Teresa's not in the hospital any second now. We're running out of time, Luis. All right, look, uh, I'll get the agency back on the line and see if they got any more news about Ethan's whereabouts. Well, he hasn't come back to the phone yet, but the line is still open. What if Teresa's already in labor? She'll die. And so will her baby. Oh, it's even worse than Pilar knows. There's a serious side effect in certain rare cases of preeclampsia. What is that? Some women become psychotic. I'm afraid this might happen to Teresa, especially if she thinks that she's being threatened. <sighs> Teresa, stop, all right? Listen to me. I spoke to Dr. Russell. She confirmed what Gwen said. You have preeclampsia, and it's making you a little unbalanced. Damn it, Ethan! I am not unbalanced! Okay? <gasps> I'm angry. I am angry! at what you did to me! What have I done but help you, Teresa? You've always loved Gwen, Ethan. That's why our relationship didn't work out. That's why you don't want to run away with me now. You never really loved me, Ethan. You lied to me. You led me on. And now I'm going to make you pay. Both of you. You are both going to pay with your lives. Damn you both to hell! Teresa, listen to me, all right? I, I, I talked to Dr. Russell on the phone. She warned me. She said that your medical condition could bring on a psychotic episode. Call it whatever you want. I hate you! We were supposed to have a life together, and now it's ruined. Look, uh, Teresa, you, you don't want to hurt me or Gwen, all right? No, you're right, Ethan. I want to kill you! Ah! No. Of the one who could sing so sweet, and I would fly on the wings of a bird. I knew you'd take me high as breathing. Get moving, you bucket of rust. Yes, my queen. Now I want you to finish off what your lame brain scarecrow buddy couldn't do on his own, and I want you to get rid of Timmy for good. Oh, no! Don't listen to her. Just do it. <clears throat> oh, Timmy. What will become of you now? Diana's real name. One step at a time, Stanley. So far, we made a match between our snapshot and a photo from an old French newspaper. Now we'll do another computer search for the accompanying links. Voila. We'll have her given name. And that, my friend, will be enough to bring her and Brian to their knees. You're right. 
Nick must have been lying. I'm just so desperate for someone to recognize me so I can finally find out who I am. What I can't get over is how much you were willing to give up for me. I mean, if Liz hadn't overheard you and Nick talking, I'd still be believing that you were dumping me for him. Who knows? Maybe I was an actress in my old life. Maybe you were. You sure had me fooled, though. I'm sorry I had to be so heartless. It's the only way I knew how to convince you. Don't worry about it. As long as all that's over and you're back in my arms where you belong. Which is where I want to stay. Good, because I'm not going to let you go for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, I love you too. I won't ever let a man come between us again. No matter who he is. It's taking you guys so long. I just need to pinpoint the exact location of the party who called Dr. Russell's cell phone. Yes, of course I'll hold. This is an emergency. I thought the FBI did this kind of stuff all the time. It hasn't been that long, right? It's hanging there. I'm trying, Sam. But my sister's life is at stake, not to mention her babies. Look, I want to get to her and Ethan as much as you do. But as long as Ethan keeps the phone line open, we still got a shot. Well, I'm glad you finally see it my way. Hey, I'm a father before I'm a cop. Now, if I can keep Ethan out of jail for helping Teresa escape, it'd be worth the risk. Just wish it was that clear cut with my sister. Even if we get her back to the hospital in time to have her babies, she's still going to be put to death once she gives birth. I can't see any child of Pilar suddenly turning violent. Oh, it wouldn't be Teresa's fault. It's just a rare side effect of the preeclampsia. Well, let's just hope that it doesn't strike Teresa. She's got enough problems without that. <gasps> Ethan, don't let her stab me again. I won't. Don't you talk about me like I'm not in this room! <laughs> Look, Teresa, stop this, all right? You don't know what you're doing. Is that what you think because I hurt you? Now you know what it feels like. Run for your life, Tim Tim! He's not going anywhere, Hagbag. Should we go for the new cat? Did the two men come to help Timmy and Zoran crew? Close. They're here to help you get dead. <laughs> Just for the record, that nasty cigar trick won't work with me. <laughs> oh, no. Tin Can, he's been the zombie, too. The zombie? Yeah, I'd like to hear more about the zombie person. <laughs> If there is a later! Where are you? What's taking so long? The damn elevator is stuck between floors. I'm almost at the lab now. Let me know as soon as you get there. I still think something fishy's going on with our prisoner. You should see how antsy they're all getting down here. Like they know this Teresa is not in the hospital. I don't see how she could have slipped out by herself. If she escaped, she had to have help. I'm going to make it my personal goal to put her rescuer behind bars for the rest of his or her life. That's what I'm afraid of, Ethan. Oh, my God. Oh, Ethan. Oh, my God. I'm freezing. What are you doing? Like you don't know? I don't think she does. 
She was in some kind of a psychotic state. You think you could not possibly be defending her right now after what she did? I don't understand. I'm not quiet. You're, 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 you're bleeding. You're, how, did, how did you get hurt? You're, you? You did this, Teresa? No, no, me, me, no, no, I, I would. No. You, you were attacking us, Teresa. You wanted to kill us. No, 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 I know that you, that you don't like me, but I would, I would never hurt you. <gasps> you, you, you. Your arm, you, you're bleeding. What happened? You did this to him, Teresa. No, 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 I would never, never hurt you. Not in a million years. I, I, I love him more than anything. Worried about your past? No. More about your future. I don't want you to go back to racing cars again. Look, I know Liz scared you with that story she was telling you about me getting banged up last time. Banged up? She said you almost died. Yeah, that's because she's exaggerating. Look, Diana, fair is fair. You were about to give up your whole life just to protect me. Come on, it's not the same thing. Oh, yes, it is. You going away with Nick is a lot more dangerous than me getting behind the wheel of a race car. And besides, I can't think of any other way to make that much money that quick to pay off Nick. Get rid of him for good. I just don't want you to get hurt. I'm not gonna get hurt, Diana. I am a good driver. And for the record, I happen to love it. You're still making a huge sacrifice just for me. Oh, no. And that's the reason that we're in this in the first place, is because you were trying to do something nice for me. Now it's my turn to do something nice for you. I don't know how I got so lucky. Shut up, please. <laughs> well, you're gonna have clear sailing from here. Once we get Nick off our backs, it's just gonna be you and me. That's it. Diana's real name. Oh, you, you've got to be kidding. Do I look like a man with a sense of humor? Do you know what this means, Stanley? Life as he knows it is over for hotshot Brian O'Leary. Sorry, I know it stings, but it's not a deep wound. Yeah, well, not for lack of trying, huh, Teresa? Oh, Gwen, I'm... I'm really sorry, and I... I had no idea. I mean, I still cannot believe it that, that I, I... I did that. Well, you did. And, and you got Ethan's arm really badly, too. Look, I'll be okay. Well, let me see, Ethan. I have done that. Look, Teresa, it wasn't you. It was your medical condition. I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. Look, I'll go get you another shirt, Gwen. You're better. I... I thought you were making it up so Ethan would have to take me back to the hospital to have my baby. Well, I wasn't, and you could have had both of us killed. And don't think I'm not going to tell the police when we get back to Harmony. I can't go back there, Gwen. <sighs> You really have lost your mind. You are this close to having a baby in a remote cabin with two people who don't know the first thing about childbirth. It's time to get real, okay? I'm trying. I just can't. I know. I know. I would be too. Gwen, she didn't mean to hurt us, all right? I can't think she was in her right mind. It doesn't matter what I think, Ethan. We still have a really big problem here. 
Do you have another contraction? Ow! Ow! Oh my god, I left Dr. Ow! Russell on the phone. Hello? Dr. Russell, can you hear me? Uh, uh, not great. Uh, she's in labor. Uh, look, we, we need you to send an ambulance up here right away. Ask them where they are. Well, where are you, Ethan? Uh, we're at the crane cabin in the mountains. Uh, ask my mother. She'll give you directions. Well, I, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. Where are you? Well, uh, at the crane cabin. I can't hear what he's saying. Just keep him on the line. How's the FBI doing on the trace? Yeah, they say they're close. Uh, Dr. Russell, I can't hear you at all. Ethan. If you can hear me, just listen to me. This is very important. Don't hang up the phone. We, we need to keep the line open. Oh, my God. I think I just heard Teresa have a contraction. Okay. You, need, you need to come over to the house. Okay. I don't come think on. I can walk. No, I'm going to help you. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's good. That's good. Ethan. Ethan. We're running out of time. She's going to have this baby any minute. But we need to get a doctor up here, or at least paramedics. Hello, Dr. Russell, can you hear me? Doctor... <laughs> Damn it. The battery's dead. We hope they hear where we are. Well, don't worry about it. My mother knows we're at the cabin, and I'm sure she's going to tell everybody where we are. Ethan? Oh, say something, please. I'm lost. I can't go. My daughter, if you're going to die. Either Ethan's phone went out or, or he hung up. Did the FBI get the trace? No. My poor Denise. She must be so frightened. Oh, don't worry, Pilar. Luis will not stop looking for his sister. Chances are Ethan will find his way back. What if Eve is right and my little girl is already in labor? She... I couldn't say this in front of your mother, but uh, it doesn't look good. I know. Especially once Deputy Dog over here finds out that Teresa's escaped the hospital. I mean, Sam, her life just goes over. Look, I hate to say this, but Ethan's might as well be if he goes to prison for helping Teresa. What'd you find? It's just what we thought. Teresa Crane's nowhere to be found. Nobody in the lab has seen her all evening. I knew it. They've all been lying through their teeth. Someone's gonna pay for making us look like fools. Blessed Virgin. Hear my prayer. As one mother to another. Don't let my child die. Please. Help us find. Get 
get the mud wrong! Go! He's locked! But don't tell me there's no other way out of here! Gotcha! about my past you couldn't the guys never told the truth about anything in his entire life there's no way that you guys cross paths it just seems so positive what i fell for it hook line and sinker it's just part of nick's scam to get to you and me just forget about him diana he doesn't know who you are and he never will I saw Diana before, and I had. I've got her now. There's a fortune in this name, Stanley. You're saying that Brian's Diana is really Sheridan Crane, and she didn't die like the newspaper said? Apparently not. And we're the only two people in the world who know that. It must be my reward for living such a good... Clean life. Ethan, it looks like we're going to end up delivering this baby ourselves. All right, well, you keep an eye on her. I'll go boil some water. Uh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll do that. You stay here with her. I'll do whatever I can to help her, but I don't trust her. What if she comes after me again? Look, I, I don't think she will, right? She didn't know what she was doing. Maybe. Maybe not. All I know is that she doesn't want to have this baby, Ethan. She hates this baby because it's Julian's. Come on, push, oh. Teresa! Push, come on! Ryan! Uh, uh. Oh, I got oh. it! I got it! What is it? A boy? A girl? It's a demon! We gotta help her. My daughter needs me more than she ever has in her whole life, and I don't even know who she is. Mama, don't worry. We'll find her in time, all right? We'll find her. What if Ethan doesn't call back? What if she's already in labor and, and it's too late, Reese? Just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, we'll lose the phone contact with Ethan. I was hoping we'd be able to track him down before the guards realize he'd gone missing. Are you worried what they'll do to Ethan when they find him? <sighs> Can you blame me? If he's put behind bars for aiding and abetting Teresa's escape, he won't make it out in one piece. His fellow inmates aren't going to take too kindly to him being the son of the chief of police, especially one who used to carry the name Crane. Sam, you can't think the worst. Look, in my line of work, sometimes it's the only way you can't think. I'd ask what you're thinking, but I'm sure I can guess. Either you cannot tell anyone where Ethan and Teresa are. I don't take orders from you, Rebecca. And if Sam can get to Ethan before anyone else, then maybe Ethan won't go to prison. I think, please, just don't do it. Sam, I need to talk to you. Ivy, not now. I know where Ethan and Teresa are. Luis. Luis. All right, but you can tell me everything. Where are they? They're up at the cabin. What cabin? The cabin the family has up in the woods. I know exactly where it is. I'm going up there. I gotta save my sister. You two aren't going anywhere. Please make his demise as quick and painless as possible. Now, why on earth would I do that when I can make it slow? 
Oh, and agonizing. Mm -hmm. Really, old girl. No wonder you're stripped of your powers. You're beginning to sound as lily livered as great spirit. Oh, call me anything you like. I don't care. I just don't want to see Timmy hurt. He's, he's all I have. Had, Tabitha. Past tense. <sighs> what you waiting for, Tin Man? Let's go! Only a little guy. It's not gonna take you long at all. <laughs> oh, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> oh, my Tabitha won't budge. Invading your dead meat, you sorry excuse for a lion. <laughs> you shouldn't have mocked a straw man. But he was trying to kill us. So what? He had orders to, same as I do. Only you won't outsmart me, because I've got a brain. Not to mention my trusty chainsaw. The only thing I don't have is a heart. So say goodbye to your little cross-dressing friend. <laughs> Time's up! <laughs> I just wish there was another way we could raise the money so that you wouldn't have to put your life on the line. I told you, Diana. I love racing. And I learned my lesson. And this time around, I'm going to be more safe. I have a lot more to live for these days. What would I do if I ever lost you? You're not going to lose me. I'm just going to race long enough to make that money to pay off Nick. And once that's behind us, I'm going to hang up my helmet for good. Do you promise? Yes. You have my word on it. And you have my word. Once that's all done, it's just going to be you and me living our life together. Very right. I like the sound of that. Get used to it. I had a feeling she came for money. But who knew it was the richest family dynasty in the country? We struck gold, Stanley. Yeah, I know this is good news, but how exactly are we going to use it? To get my money back, of course. With interest. How do you think Brian's going to feel when I marry his girlfriend? You. You're going to marry? That's right, Stanley, my boy. I'm going to marry Sheridan Crane. about the whereabouts of convicted murderer. Teresa Crane was never in the lab, and now we know how she got out of the hospital. <laughs> Look, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Save yeah. it for the DA, Chief Bennett. One of the nurses reported some missing scrubs. Funny, but a guy who looked a lot like Ivy Crane's son, Ethan, was seen entering her cubicle, all dressed up like a doctor. He obviously helped her escape. Something he's going to regret for the rest of his life? Just like you two when you're stripped of your badges. Look, you don't understand, right? My sister's life is at stake. Yesterday's news, pal. Everyone knows she's been sentenced to die by lethal injection. Look, I'm not talking about that. Look, if I don't get to my sister in time, both she and her baby could die. I'm going to save my sister. Oh. If there's any way in the world you think you can get to the phone, you will. You cannot give up. No, no, not necessarily. As long as Teresa's water hasn't broken, there's still hope. Oh, look, that's it, Teresa. Just squeeze my hand as hard as you want. Yeah, then it hurts. Look, I'm sure it does, but don't give up, all right? Okay. Look, all right, okay. breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. I would hold the hand of the one who lead me places. And kiss lips of the one who could sing so sweet. And I would fly on the wings of a bird. I knew it could take me higher. Breathe in, breathe out. You keep 
You're doing, you're doing fine. Everything's gonna be all right. How? You and Gwen don't know how to deliver my baby. No, no, I have to make him wait. I can't have him now. Look, I, I'm right here, Teresa. I, I just need to get some. No, no, no. Don't leave me alone, Ethan, please. Look, I'll be right back. I promise. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look, Gwen, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. To tell you the truth, I'd rather be anywhere else in the world right now. Ah! Oh! The baby's coming, Ethan. How do you know? Her water just broke. This is it. I mean, but what if we can't do this? I mean, what if she and the baby die? Please. 